everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Donnie, and you're watching Diamond Painting by Donnie. I hope everyone is staying nice and cool, because it's been pretty darn hot lately. I know it's pretty warm here. Um, we have actually have an air conditioner scheduled to be installed in a couple more weeks. But today, what I want to do is show you um, an unbagging, typically an unboxing, of a company that contacted me to um, introduce their company. I'm not quite sure how long they've been around, but um, I had never heard of them. The company is called GBFKE, and they have their own website. They're not um, on AliExpress. They're not on Amazon. They're an independent company on the internet. So they contacted me and asked me to pick out four diamond paintings that I would like to show, and that's what I'm gonna do right now. It came to me they used my address on my YouTube channel, so it went to my P.O. box. It actually got here two days before I picked it up. And these are, there are four diamond paintings in here. And this is how it came, in a nice big bag. And we're gonna see now how it looks on the inside. My my post office did, wasn't very kind to this package. I have a very small post office box, and they shoved this in the box instead of giving us a key and putting it in a larger box. So I'm not too happy about that. I'm just hoping it didn't damage the diamond paintings. So let's get this cut open and see. Oy. Okay, so here's one. Kind of reminds me of um, CES deals, how they package them and things like that. Here's another one. And I did order a pretty big one. I'm, I don't remember if it's, nope, it's not a panel, but there's another one. You can kind of see what it is. And there's the fourth. So they, it didn't, doesn't look like it, they were damaged. It is poured glue, so that is a very good, very good thing for, for how it was treated at the post office. All right, so let's get rid of the big bag, and we're just going to go by the order I have them written in my book. So I think, one, two, three, four, okay, I think this one is the first one right here. We'll set these others down. Okay, so I named this one Dragon, White Dragon, sorry. Here is a full-size picture of what it looks like. And it, now it's funny, these come from China, but their prices are listed in euros. So, Translated to US dollars, this one is $10.56. It, so the whole shipment, um, I talked to him on the June 30th, and he shipped them June 30th, and they arrived July 22nd, so 22 days, so about three weeks. This one is a 50 by 95, okay? So it's going to be pretty big. We'll check out the drills after we look at the diamond painting. So it looks like they've put two different sheets on here. Someone in the factory it looks like something got on the cover. That wipes off. It looks like it's dirt, but it looks as though it may have been dropped because there is some dirt on here. I just want to clean it off so that, and I don't, oh, there it is. There we go. I don't want it to get into the sticky, so there we go. And a lot of companies don't realize that the pack, people who do the packaging are doing this kind of thing unless, you know, Someone does a review or lets them know. So apparently it looks like, yeah, somebody dropped it and did not 
treat it too well. There are like dirt smudges up there. Okay, so let's unfold it. Pretty, pretty big. They've named this one Beauty. Beauty. It's 16 colors. And this is going to be a massive confetti ordeal. It's because, well, here's the toolkit. It's just um, a basic toolkit. Because this background is not one solid color. It is very mixed. Two different colors. And there is some color blocking hmm, right here on the chest. A little bit here, but it's a lot. Mostly it's mixed with other colors. All of these spots you'd think would be color blocking. So there's a lot of blending going on here. But yeah, they have two different pieces of <clears throat> cover paper because it's pretty wide. And... We'll measure it here in just a second. I don't know if I'm going to be able to measure the other direction, but. All right, let's see. Okay. Oh, it's, it's sticky. All right. So, I, you know, sometimes on poured glue, it can be stickier in one spot than another. But from what I've tested here, it seems to be pretty sticky. I'm going to pull this back because I have to get this straight because it's bugging me. There's just little wrinkles in the cover. Now you can see how it's been, you know, roughed up in shipping and you can see the wrinkles in the canvas. That doesn't matter because it is poured glue. There's no bubbles. You don't get bubbles in poured glue and you won't get puckers either. But the canvas has been, has seen better days but your drills will lay flat as long as you get the creases out by putting under heavy books. If you do that or leave it hanging, the creases will eventually flatten themselves out. But, you know, if they're really deep, I would suggest putting books on top of it to make sure that they come out. So, replace the cover. But if it's too, like, damaged or, like, the covering is just not, if I'm not happy with it or whatever, I can always replace it with parchment paper, which I've done several times on many different diamond paintings. But this might be one I would do that for, mainly because it's in two different strips. And that kind of makes it hard to work on when I have two different strips and if I especially if I want to go across anyway that's neither here nor there that's just an option when you use parchment paper make sure you are finding stuff that is um, non-stick and it says that and you test a very small corner to make sure it's not going to stick to your diamond painting and not come back up let's look at this drill field now, the background is really dark, so it makes it hard to kind of see the symbols, but with a light pad, it shouldn't be an issue. It's basically just two symbols in that background, so it's going to be either one or the other. And then over here in the white, you can see they are black symbols, so they're nice and easy to read. And the price, you just really cannot complain about that. The price, I mean, 10 bucks, 10.50, 10.56 exactly for this large of a diamond painting. That is pretty darn good. And because they do it in euros, it says that there is free shipping for orders over 30 euros, which would be $35 and 24 cents US. So the width of this because it's obviously 50 by 95 is the canvas size. The drilling area is um, almost 45, so it's about five off. So I'm gonna guess the, this part is gonna be 90. I will try to measure it here 
and then we can look at the bottom half of this image. Okay. So we got, I'm going to have to wrinkle it up a little bit, hold it to get to the bottom. And we're almost there. Well, it's actually, it's like 89 and a half. So the, it is only half a centimeter off from 90. So it says 50 by 90, but it's more like... Let me double check, make sure I got, yeah, 45 by 90. All right, so I will, if I can, I will try to take a picture of this image and, um, well, after I hang it up and show it to you right here. Otherwise, let's see what I can do. But look at that, isn't that pretty? It's a dragon, but it, it looks so regal and just beautiful it's it doesn't look like a fire breathing angry dragon it looks like it's a peaceful peacekeeping dragon and the fact that it only has 16 colors just you know tells me that it's it could get really monotonous for somebody or boring but you can't beat ten dollars and fifty cents for this, okay? So let's look at these drills. Oh, and let's see the key. Okay, they do have a key right here on the bottom right, and it's nice and big, and it's got most. It's got letters and symbols, but the symbols aren't really strange or off the wall or hard to read type symbols. So, at least you can read it and make a copy of it if need be. And there's also a key at the top left, which is good on canvases this size because, like, I'm working on something right now that only has it on one on the top left. And I have it folded over my light pad. It's, it's poured glue, so it's fine. And I'm having to refill my trays. And I have the symbols written on there, but I don't know what... And, but the bags only have the DMC numbers on them, so I can't, I have to look at the key to figure out which bag I need to pour it back in, and it's kind of inconvenient having to flip over my light pad and then lift up my washi tape to try and find the symbol, so it's really good to actually have it in two different places. This may only have uh, 16 colors, yeah, but there's a lot of them. Two bags full. But they're all just blues and let, I'll, I'll pull one out so you can see the quality of them. Okay, so let's see. This goes through number eight, it looks like. Starts with one. So it's got a really pretty purple, number one. The D, it doesn't look like the DMC numbers are on the bags here, but they are... Nope, no DMC numbers. Okay, I just realized that. Yeah, so no DMC numbers. You, you will have to match them to your own DMC chart to figure out. But this looks like it's a, a 208 or something in that line. But there are three bags. Why did I, did I say two? I meant three. Here, let me get you in a little closer so you can see the colors. All right, so there's that one. And then we've got, looks like 310 because there are one, two, three, four. Four bags of that, which is number two, and that is the M. And I, yeah, it is part of the background here of this top half of the background because it, the background does change to different colors at the bottom. But so there's a lot of the black in the background. And then we have this one, looks like 823. There's two bags of that. Number four has one, two, three three bags. It's a gray color. And number five, so we have two bags. It's kind of a bluish gray. And number six, another light gray. 
Number seven, we have two bags. Looks like it might be 820 or around there. And then number eight has one bag. Okay, number nine has one bag. And then number 10 might be that other dark blue, which I can't think of the name number of it right now. 959, I think. Maybe. But there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine bags of that. So I'm guessing that's the other background color. Yep, it's the ampersand. And that is throughout the entire background. The majority of the color of the background is going to be this one right here. And then number 11 has just a tiny bit. There's 12. Then we have a little bit of purplish pink in 13. And then we've got two bags of 14. Kind of like a peri, periwinkle gray. And then 15 has two bags, and then 16, one bag of that. So a lot of this that looks like it's going to be white will, is probably going to be in the gray area. And now I'm looking at this where it looks like it had dropped. I might ask him to send me a new canvas because... Um, I'm sure he would not be happy knowing that this was sent out. Something that was, um, I don't know, it, it looks like it was dropped on the ground and got run across the dirt. It's just in this one corner. I mean, it's not affecting the canvas, but yeah, I'll talk to him. He's a really nice, nice guy, so. I'll let you guys know what happens with that. All right, so let's go back out and we're gonna go switch to the next canvas. So I will be right back after I get this put away. All right, when I just realized when I was putting that away that the canvas says 50 by 95 and when I measured it, it was 45 by 90 and thinking, oh yeah, it actually is the number they said. I don't know why I was thinking 90 was what they have it listed as, but that is the canvas size because the drilling area was 90, not 95, which is what it's advertised as, which is the canvas size. Okay, so next we have um, this diamond painting. I'm guessing this is the one that I wanted to do next. There is no picture on it, so if it is, anyway, this is what this one looks like. And I'm going to double check to see that that's what I have here. Yes, and I call this one Happy Rapunzel. So this is a 30 by 40, as you can see. But, you know, it's not a 30 by 40. It's probably a 25 by 35. And we have the same kit here. This one actually has a couple baggies thrown in. And this one is pretty creased. So one of the quick ways to get it to go flat is to take it along the edge of your table and rub it on the back side. Just a couple of times there. So we got it pretty flat. Now it's glaring. So this is kind of, this is what it looks like on here. I made sure to choose images that I thought um, would look that the detail would come out, that there wasn't a ton of detail in because of the size of the, the canvases. It's just like with um, any other company where they have mostly the same size of stuff. But um, this company has a category for $3.99 to $6.99 images. I don't remember if they have anything lower than that. But, you know, like I said, this was... Um, 
Well, I, I didn't say yet. <laughs> but this one is $7.04 for U.S. It is a 30 by 40, and I'll um, I'll check it to see what size it really is. Um, but this this one does have the DMC codes. It, they are all round, the ones that I've chosen. I don't know if I had to pick it. I don't remember if they have square or not. Boy, I'm a lot of help today. I don't remember if they have square. Okay, so it is about 24 by almost, almost 34. 24 by 33 and a half. So, yeah, they, they are definitely counting the canvas size, which is 30. And this has a thicker edge on it, so that's why there's 7 centimeters not accounted for. But, no, actually, this is, it's like 39. Yeah. Like a millimeter over 39. So let's take a look at this drill field here. This one looks rather easy to read and it would be a quick one to do in between so an in between or a party party size anything under 30 by 40 i consider a party size because they would be great to have do at parties and i like to do them just like in between my big ones but yeah it's a really clear drill field. Here's the key. You can look and see. And it does have a lot of letters, symbols, yeah, lowercase d. I don't see numbers. Are there any numbers? Uh, nope, just letters and symbols, lowercase and uppercase. But it is clear enough to read so that you can make a copy of it and print it out and put it on your containers that you're charting it up so 20 colors for this one and that's uh there's nothing much to say about that just check the sticky but i i you know tesla loves rapunzel so i have a lot of rapunzel images and i know i don't have this one which i really like it because she's she's smiling She's happy. She's free. <laughs> but this one, I will definitely need to put some books on top of it because this canvas is is thicker than the first one. The first one was more kind of almost. It was so soft, not texture soft, but it was more pliable than this that when you, they're more pliable like that you won't you don't get the creases like you do on these so but i would think that this type of canvas would last longer than the more pliable one another way you can try and get your creases out and and uh, get it flat is to roll it backwards from the way it came i like it when they come with the the drill side up and this was the opposite way so there it's it's nice and well, as far as it's going to get without being put underneath books. All right. So let's look. The diamonds. They're just a chain of diamonds here. But as I said, there are DMC codes um, next to the numbers, but they are not on the bags. So this QF163 that's on the bag, that is the number of your canvas. It matches that right there. So don't go thinking that these are drill num DMC number 163. <laughs> All right, let's just look at these colors. Let's see, 2019, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 15, 15, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yep, so they're all here. There's only one bag of each color. Let's go in a little bit so you can just see the colors nice purpley color for her dress lots of purples in this one her ba the background looks like it's got purples and pinks and i love my purples so and there's a magenta color right there 
That looks yellow in the camera, but it is actually orange. It's kind of like a burnt orange there. Wow, what's going on with the lighting? That looks like it's a really, really pale pink when it's actually... It's a little darker than what it looks like in the camera. Yeah, maybe your monitor will fix what my camera, what my monitor is showing, because this is a little darker of a skin tone color. Even though there's not a lot of skin showing, just a little bit on her hand and a tiny bit on her face, so that's probably not the skin color. It's probably part of her hair. Well, it looks like the skin color is the same color as the whatever this is down here part of her hair yeah so part of her hair is actually the same color as her skin so there's more pinks and a gray another big bag of pink another orangish yellow and a little bit of mauve okay so that's number two i'll be right back with number three okay now number three is another 30 well this one's a 40 by 50 and this is what it looks like i just named it mickey and minnie in paris and see this is like i was saying this is how i like them rolled outward they're easier to flatten that way And um, this canvas is the thicker canvas, like the last one I showed you, like the um, Rapunzel. And this is actually nice, and I like—I don't know—the texture of the coverings when they're like this. I like it. I don't know what it is. I, maybe they're more secured on there. I don't know. The difference I mean how it manages to look like this sometimes and sometimes it just looks loose with a bunch of these air pockets I don't understand the, how that happens but here's the tray the toolkit and this one does have your key top left bottom right um, Rapunzel was the same way this one does not have any DMC codes on the key it has mostly letters and, but there are some symbols as well. And this looks like it will come out really clear. I mean, the size of it is probably one of the reasons why, because it is a 40 by 50. And this one cost $11.75. Which I don't, I, I don't understand how this can be $11.75 and the other one was only $10.56. The big dragon it might be the po the content the popularity of disney p paintings that is why this one is a little bit more but um let's see the drills they don't have dmc z dmc codes either so it is no dmc on this one all right let's look at this canvas <clears throat> there's 20 colors looks really i like the coloring of the print on this canvas it's nice and bold which is really necessary when you are doing a round round drills because the colors will show through in between your diamonds so the sticky is actually really good on this poured glue again and i believe all of them are poured glue so the last one's in an opaque bag, so I can't tell for sure, but we'll find out in a minute. And let's look at these symbols. I'm just going to clear out these air pockets real quick because that's just my little thing. Really easy to do. Just pull it back and then smooth it down. It makes it easier to keep it flat that way too when you get the, all the air pockets out all right so let's look at the drill field air bubble 
well now you can actually see the image a little better too so this is super cute it may not be an, a party size, but there's something about it that just makes me want to do it. <laughs> Here's the drill filled. Lots of dark symbols. The black, they're black symbols. Except for on the black, we've got uh, white symbols. So we've got, and that's one thing that really bugs me right there. R and B right next to each other. They're both white symbols right there in the black. Because it, I mean, they're pretty easy to read, but when you're going fast with diamond painting, you're drilling away, sometimes you will get them mixed up. You'll put a B on an R and an R on a B because the symbols are, are so alike. If that is something that can be actually adjusted on a diamond painting for any company, if they can tell the printers or if they tell their people who are doing it to change around the symbols that would be one suggestion I would make is to not have R and B right next to each other with the same color because the background color is virtually identical looks like R might be a really dark blue but from this distance you can't tell which color is which you can't tell that it's going to be blue or not not blue or black and we've got a nice silhouette of the Eiffel Tower back here and some cherry blossoms I think this is a super cute image I really like this so I think that's about oh let's measure it real quick because so far we know that it's the canvas size and not the drilling area so this is 43 and a half instead of 50 for the drilling area and width wise we've got almost 34 centimeters so 34 by 43 and a half that's that's um about how much was missing yeah no is it 43 and a half or 40 yeah because the the 30 by 40 had about seven centimeters off but it's seven centimeters off um, lengthwise and six centimeters off widthwise from what is shown on the canvas right here as far as canvas size versus drilling area all right, let me look at the drills. These are going to be really bright colors. Okay, so 20 colors. Here's the last two colors, 19 and 20. Blue and, um, that looks like 154. Okay, number one is, looks like 310. I'm going to go this way. One, two. No, I'll go this way. And three, we've got two bags of that purple color, which is in the 200 range. And then number four, five. I love that melon color, number six. It's actually brighter in person. Uh, peach color, seven, eight. Nine looks like it's 820 or in the 700 range of those blues. It's really pretty. Number 10, that's a little bit more of a gray blue. That would get darker. Number 11, 12, another blue. 13 is a really, really dark blue, which I'm guessing it's that symbol R or B, one of those two. And then we got 14 and 15. And then, ooh, that's a, this is a very pretty color. One of my favorites in the blue. So there's two bags of that, 16 and 17 and 18. So that's that, I think it's 741, that orangish yellow color. Because it kind of looks more yellow in the camera. 
17, 18, and then 19, and then 20. So two bags of 20 as well. All right, so that's number three. I will be right back and we will look at the final one in this package. Okay, lastly, we have a three panel and this one I named White Tiger Three Panel and this is what it looks like. So this one is $11.75, so it's the same price as Mickey and Minnie in Paris. And it actually measures, it says that the full measurement is 80 by 45, but the, the drill area is 73 by 39, but I'm guessing that's not the exact precise image. Um, length because there's gaps between maybe so we'll see in a minute same kit and it was rolled inwards drills they do have let's see yes they do have DMC numbers on the the drills so that's good See, I don't like this, but it's an easy fix. I just cut the excess covering off. So this one's going to go this way. Oh, they give you two kits, unless one was accidentally sent extra. So I like this. I'm really into white tigers. And I'm going to zoom you out just a little bit so you can get a full view of this one. All right, so they're not huge panels, but there's very few colors in this as well. There are 12 colors, and I kind of like it when they put red symbols on here. I'll show you here in just a second when I lift it up to show you, because that just, it kind of makes it stand out, and they've got yellow as well, and blue, black, um, but no white, so that's weird. Huh, but they do have, so they have blue, black, red, yellow, and red colored symbols. Twelve colors, because this is a very simplistic white tiger. And I'm going to pull this back and then show you and then we'll measure it because this is good they don't have glue here so technically you could cut them out very easily in between a good you'll still have a good portion for framing um, I've never framed a a panel set yet and I've not actually done a panel, but I, I see some people where they cut them out and they do them, you know, they'll have one piece to do and they'll do it by itself and set the other aside somewhere. And some people will just diamond paint this whole thing at once. So I'm not sure what I would do. This is actually one of the smaller of the panel sets, but it doesn't make the image look small. That's, I really enjoy that. And for... What, under $12 for this entire thing. I mean, that's a pretty darn good price. And the sticky is, is good. I just find it strange that some of them have the um, DMC codes and some of them do not. I can't get this one very straight right now. I've shown this before. You want on these cellophane, cellophane covers, you've got to make sure to get the correct side back facing down. Because if you don't, this is what happens. See, I accidentally got the front piece down. Look at how hard it is to pull it off. That was nothing, but it, it can get pretty bad. Some cellophane covers are, you're able to use either side, but a lot of them you're not. So be sure to test when you're going to put your cover back on each side to make sure one isn't harder to remove than the other. Because on something this big, I would imagine it would be very painstaking to 
pull it off. Not only that, you do risk pulling the, the adhesive up off of your diamond painting when you put it on backwards and have to pull it up like that. All right. I'm, I'm just having an issue. I have to have it flat. All right, so there's this. I'll just show you this one because it's going to be a little harder to see because of all the bubbles there, but at least on this side you can see nice and clear. Okay. It's fuzzy because I zoomed it in a little bit. So let me go back. In there. There we go. So see how those red symbols really stand out in the blue? And it's nice and easy to read. Okay, so there are some white symbols. Those, the threes. See, they didn't have, they didn't, they made them in different colors, which is really nice because the background color is almost identical, like between the nine and the C. So it's really nice that they use different colors. I, I do appreciate that. See, seven and four. They're black, but they, you can tell the difference between those. But between nine and C, the background color is very, very similar. So if they had R and B next to each other and they were in red and blue, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind having them because at least I could see the color is the difference in which symbols which. So let's measure to see the exact width because let's see, it says that the actual drilling area is 73 by 39. So this might be 39 going this way. No, weird. It is, or maybe this, the portion from the line, because the first number where it says 80 by 45 is from blue line to the bottom blue line, which it does say that it's about um, 45. From here down, it's about 39. Yep. So that's what, what they're advertising on their site. The drill area is from this line to the next line. So they're measuring this whole area that would actually be part of the frame that you would need to use and not the actual measurement. So what we have is, what did I say? It's not 39. It is almost 36 centimeters going widthwise or lengthwise. Width is for the small frame, it's um, about 15 and a half centimeters. And I'm going to just double check to see that this one is the same. Yep, this one's 15 and a half as well, so they are equal in size. And then our centerpiece, so that's 31 between the two of them. And then this one is 31. So we have 62 centimeters wide worth of drilling. And I, I am really bad. What was that other number? 30, 35 and a half, 35 and a half by 64, right? <laughs> 64 because this was 31 right no 15 and a half and then 15 and a half is 31 plus 31 so 62 62 one way 35 and a half the other I'm gonna write down because I, uh, so I won't forget 35 and a half by 62 there, now I have it written down. And there are 12 colors, very white, black and white, and yellow. Looks like there's a little bit of yellow, yellowish greens, grays. It's not really, there's a little bit of black, but it's mostly grays. 
grays and then 3865 which is an off-white type of color and I love it I mean I I really love these white tigers and I'm I I waited to find the perfect panel of a white tiger that that would suit me and this is the one I do like this the colors the symbols are easy to read it's not too big it's not dinky so this is actually something I would probably do like one panel in between a bigger project and then the other panel and then save this as a big project so that's what I would do with it now, uh, let me get and look at the drills real quick. So I'm going to put this away. I'll be right back. I'm putting this away, and I thought I'd come back on here just to tell you that it's much easier to put these away and get your wrinkles out if you actually separate the cellophane cover in between each section because it's not going to hurt it because there is no glue in between. It makes it much, much easier. See, there you go so I'll be right back so it doesn't seem like there's a, a ton of drills and it's not gonna be quite as much to drill as that very first one the white dragon that definitely had more than this one does but I do like that they have the DMC codes on them so this one this color here reminds me of this one right here split pea soup <laughs> but there's number one and number two. So black has three bags. That's 310. And then we have two bags of that gray for number four, which is 318. And then 413, number five, has two bags. More grays, six. Two bags, 414, 415, one bag, um, 581, another green. These are his eyes. And number nine, there's two bags, 762. Number 10 is two bags, 3799. 11, another green color, 3819. And then the 3865, which is that off-white. Two bags of that. So that's all there is to show. Um, for those of you that stuck around to the very end, I'm going to let you know that there is a 15% off discount code for my viewers. And you will find it here on the screen. And so for those that didn't watch all the way through they're gonna miss out on the code because they didn't stick around to see it thank you very much for sticking around and watching my video I hope you liked it uh, let me know what you think of this company have you heard of them before have you ordered from them if not um, after seeing this video are you interested in checking them out and seeing if they're just as good as what I got here let me know down below in the comment section. And on your way down, don't forget to hit that thumbs up because it helps my channel immensely. And also, if you aren't a subscriber, I would love to have you join my diamond painting family by hitting that subscribe button and then hitting that bell afterwards to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. So I will see you guys in my next video. I look forward to seeing you then. And have fun diamond painting, but don't forget to always sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do. Take care, everyone. Bye.